Hey everybody, welcome back. James here again with you. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. If you haven't already, hit the little bell for notifications for the channel. I appreciate it as always. So stay tuned in for some more exciting stuff from the channel guys. As always, keep watching. video guys I want to hit on a topic that you may or may not have heard of and that is whether your air gun is magazine fed or single tray fed or single shot period and what the difference is now you hear a lot of things like the single tray is more accurate because of the magazine you know deforming pellets and all this and that before it gets even in the barrel itself so today I took it upon myself not only to test it in a PCP air rifle, which this is the 22 caliber Diana Storm Rider Gen 2, which is going to be shot at 50 yards, and I'll show you guys the targets today with this at 50 yards, comparing the two single shot tray and the magazine in this gun using the JSB 1589s at 50 yards. But I am also going to show you at 25 yards with my Gamo Swarm Fox. 22 caliber brake barrel and this gun is magazine fed and then I also hand loaded pellets into the breech just to see if there's a big difference versus the magazine guys so I thought that was cool just to go ahead and show you the big difference if there was any difference in a magazine fed brake barrel versus single loading it like usual before the magazine fed brake barrels even came out so guys, I'm going to go ahead and start with the Diana Storm Rider at 50 yards. And let me show you. Magazine versus the single shot tray. Well, as you can tell, the magazine, the five shots here, I took five of each, or tried to anyway, five shots here were just way opened up. I think it was like a one and a half inch group or so. And then the top row here was the single shot tray, same pellet, 50 yards, and was about an inch or so. And I was just going ahead and loading them in and pulling the trigger. I wasn't really taking my time or anything. Just put the crosshairs on the bullseye at 50 yards and pull it and let it rip. But you could tell there, guys, that the group tightened up significantly 
with the single shot tray and you know it's not all over the place where it's more tighter and it seems more to the right and it's more on target so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the Gamo Swarm Fox 22 cal using the JSB 1813 grain at 25 yards so let's do it Alright guys, well as you've seen it there, this side over here, again, it happened again, groups moved. This side over here is from the magazine, and uh, from what I measured, the group got cut in half. Now I did have a flyer up here, that was my fault, and I shot another one, and it went in here somewhere. But you can see that the magazine, the five shots were just, were up high and way out of whack. I mean, you know, uh... I think it was over an inch or so at 25 yards with the magazine whereas me putting the pellet in by hand in the breech cut it down and you can see that guys significant big difference there significant by putting the pellet in the breech with my finger and it cut the group down almost half which is hard to believe and that's with the JSB 1813s at 25 yards guys so uh, is it accurate to say that it makes the gun more precise, group better using a single shot tray? What I think it is is just consistency, and that's what precision is downrange. It's consistency. Uh, like mentioned, if your magazine is tearing up your pellet or the orientation of the pellet itself is not aligned perfectly when it goes on the bore, it can go in cricket. You know, all kinds of different angles, and when it hits that rifling, that's the way it's going to be oriented. So it could be flying different. Uh, versus the single shot tray where it's always laying flat or you're always pushing the pellet in the same exact way like I was you know in the brake barrel with my thumb or finger or you're using the uh, Air Venturi pellet pin now again you know it all varies because the reasoning is these magazines guys you know are in a rotational spin and if that rotational spin doesn't align to the breech perfect and your pellet's not perfectly aligned in the magazine it could cause and make havoc for you downrange make that make you think that your gun is shooting all over the place when in reality it's the magazine causing it because that's what's that's where the actual pellet starts 
So guys, I appreciate you watching as always, and I hope you got something from this quick little video. You know, get out and test your gun and see what it likes, and if you don't have a magazine-fed gun, and you're already getting the most out of it, then you, you're doing great. But if you have a magazine gun, and you know, you, you think you can't seem to get your pellets to shoot where you want, try shooting it single shot and see what happens. So as always guys, I appreciate you watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, hit the like button. For more future videos, hit the subscribe button down below. I got some cool things coming up in the channel, and I think you're going to like them. So we'll see you on the next one, guys.